you. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Meme Review, YouTube's favorite show. That's right. Just had a call last night and they confirmed it. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Apparently, uh, I've been losing a lot of subscribers lately for no reason at all. Thank you, YouTube. Always really appreciate it. <laughs> the first meme comes from Kanye West, who's been crawling out of his little hole to give us, to bless us with some wonderful memes. He posted this picture with two, I don't know. Is he okay signing us? Is he seriously doing that? Doesn't he not understand that that's a really old meme now that you can't do anymore? Connie was posted that he got his Make America Great Again MGA hat signed by Donald D himself. Donald Trump of course reacted to this on Twitter saying, Thank you Kanye, very cool. Donald Trump of course responded to this and also replied to one of Kanye's earlier tweets saying, You don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. Dragon energy. If you don't have a dragon bond with someone, you surely aren't allowed to criticize this special pack that they had. The media of course uh, lost their absolute mind over this. You know you effed up when Donald Trump thanks you. This then turned into a wonderful meme where you can replace literally anything and you'll have Donald Trump reacting to it saying thank you Kanye, very cool. Hi Donald, I made a ROM hack of you in Mario 64. It's kind of dumb but I hope you like it. I like how you can replace literally anything and it will be equally bizarre as the original tweet. Kanye West, I'm working on an X-rated B-movie sequel where we see Barry, B, Benson and Vanessa have sex in graphic detail. Thank you Kanye, very cool. I mean, I would watch that. Just, that's just me personally throwing my input in there in case anyone was curious about what I thought about that. Hi Donald, I drew a picture of me and you. I don't know, it's kind of dumb but I thought you'd like it, I don't know. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. I mean, it is very cool. And I'm glad Donald can appreciate it. Kanye West tweeted, F you, Kanye. Not cool. <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. I mean, that is a pretty good fan art. A pretty good uh, dragon bond. Oh, that is, thank you, Kanye. Very cool. It's great to see that America has a president who's just really down with the memes and not just some fake forest meme. I love memes. I love them. Hmm? Hey, guys, this is Barack. To Octavia and the Johns Hopkins girls, I want you to know I love memes. <laughs> I love them. All right? Thanks. Thank you. thank you, Mr. President. Donald T. would never say that. Connie West also tweeted, I don't know if you saw this one, but a, a, a corn dog into a corn. A, a dog. Help me. <laughs> and of course, Donald D. T. J. T. Uh, tweeted at he. Kanye West, I just made Donald Trump an N-word pass. You can say it five times. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. <laughs> oh, it doesn't end there. I'm bringing back old club penguin. No Mexicans allowed. Thank you, cut. I knew Donald would like this one. Man, Kanye just keeps on giving, doesn't he? Whoopity scoop, poop, poopity whoop, poop. Thank you, Kanye. <laughs> Very cool. Kanye, of course, dropped the bars in his latest uh, song called Lift Yourself. And it is fire, to say the least. It's fire emoji at least 20 times. Uh, the lyrics goes Poopy de scoop, scoop de de whoop, whoop de scoop de, poop de scoop de, scoop de whoop, whoop de scoop, whoop, poop de poop, whoop, poop, poop, scoop de whoop. I added my own little interpretation in the end, but uh, you understand that the reason Kanye is tweeting is to create buzz from his album, and he is doing the, a great job at that, because who wouldn't want to listen to this? Kanye is literally a lyrical genius. You know there's something wrong when all of a sudden out of nowhere? It's what Brad said. I think Brad mentioned this, that someone invented time travel and they they just messed with their whole timeline and that's why everything is messed up. And how we know this is, for example, that all of a sudden I'm starting to like Kanye West and dislike Eminem because of all this. That's enough, Lee Hat, Kathy Pat. Like that was whack. 
Okay, even if you agree with Trump or not, like the different ways of acting around it and the salt, the amount of salt involved, it's just a beautiful thing that we all can just agree on celebrating. The how salty everyone gets with these memes, how salty Eminem is from all this, how how salty everyone is from reacting to Kanye. I just like salt. I just really like salt. This meme gets uh, salted. Very nice meme rated five. Hey, I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a five. If in case anyone is ans asking, whatever. Okay, meme review, everybody. YouTube's favorite show. Are you ready for meme number two? Will there be bonus meme? Uh, just sit down. All right, I'm tired. You're like a little kid in the back seat. Are we there yet? Will there be bonus meme yet? Just let me review the goddamn memes. Sick of it. Now the next meme is not that old, uh, it's pretty old, <laughs> but still very relevant, still extremely important, it involves Brendan Fraser. You heard about this? You know about this? Brendan Fraser, the actor in The Mummy, you probably heard about this, and such classic as Monkey Bone, and Bedazzled. You've probably heard that he's not he's not doing too well lately. People uh, started noticing he doesn't he doesn't really look that well, he looks kind of sick. Well, as it turns out, he had to pay his ex-wife, alimony, $900,000 per year. <laughs> He's no longer getting any jobs in acting. People made a petition, literally, to get Brendan Fraser back into the movie industry, but it's not helping. Alright, nothing's helping Brendan Fraser. And here is the result. Brother. Thanks so much for being here, man. Pleasure, Ricky. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's talk about you getting in on the third season of The Affair. <laughs> Brendan. It's a winning cast, an ensemble, new, uh, new territory professionally. Um, oh, yeah. And, um... Oh, this is how it works. Hi, kids. Um, <laughs> um, maybe I'll, one day I'll have a future in broadcasting, too. Um, I'm point possibly. in yeah. the jail. Um, yeah. I, I can't even stand to watch any second. My hero, Brendan Fasher. How the mighty has fallen. But he still lives on in honor in my heart. In my dreams. 1997 versus 2014. Brendan. People took this photo of Brendan Fraser and photoshopped it of Brendan balding even further and with crying red eyes. And it's probably the, the saddest image on the internet. I, I think if you search sad image, this shows up because nothing is more sad than Brendan Fraser crying. Or Brendan Fraser kawaiiing. Or Brendan Fraser dying. Brendan, please reconsider. Now this led to all kinds of photoshops. I don't know why people think it's funny that Brendan Fraser is sad. There's nothing funny about other people's pain. Not cool, guys. What even is this supposed to be? Anime Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser is the most versatile actor in the biz. If he's not in the next Marvel Infinity Wars Part 3, then what's the point? Brendan Fraser can move extremely fast, as you can tell. This is literally what you will see when you die. Okay, it's time to stop. You can stop now. Well, now I review the meme, so it's going to die anyway. You're welcome, everybody. Please stop photoshopping sad Brendan Fraser's face on top of other people. It's not funny, nor has it ever been. It just makes me say it. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. That's right. I will use my influence as a meme reviewer to elevate Brendan Fraser so much by giving this a 10 that it will single-handedly bring back his career. Mark this date in your journal, because this is the day Brendan Fraser gets out there and kills the game. Next! With the introduction of yet another very, very important character for the first time into the MCU. <laughs> Hooray, they announced another Marvel film. I cannot believe it. It's not like there's been 20 of them. You pathetic beta male soy boy. Dare I say it? Soy boys. Disgusting. How can you unironically be excited about a Marvel film at this point? I, I genuinely want to know. But the new one 
one is like different. They're all the same. They're all the same film. You're watching the same movie over and over, reskin. Stop going to these goddamn films. I don't want to see them. They're clogging up all the other movies in the cinema. Oh, but if you don't like it, don't watch it. They're taking up space from other films. My options are limited because of st stupid kid movies. Stop watching Spider-Man. There's been 25 of them. What is wrong with you? How can you unironically be into this stuff? He looks so fucking... He looks so cool! He looks like Homer Simpson. You know that, right? That's a fail, all the same. What is there to cry about? I genuinely don't understand. Dread what is there to cry about? Run from it. Destiny still arrives. There's little snot running around in their noses. Maybe if you're a teenager, I can sort of understand. It's disgusting. This is absolute filth. I understand hate. I do understand why people need to suffer. Sometimes it just feels necessary. Bro, somebody just passed out after the ending of Infinity War. But it's really good that we have superheroes. So that we have someone to look up to. You realize that it's basically superheroes is the worst role model you could possibly pick because A, it's a fictional character, and B, they don't they have superpowers. They don't exist. It will never exist. It makes zero sense to idolize a superhero. So apparently there's a big deal that there's a spoiler. Can we rewind that part? Yeah. yeah. Can we? Re you'll cut that. That's part. not. Ooh, we I get impulsive sometimes.